Okay, hello. It's time to make another video. Um, so, I'm redoing my Kickstarter campaign. And so, here's a preview of what I got so far. Um, so, unifying all religions. What if it's true? <coughs> This is a picture of Zoroaster. He's um, I don't know if that's a crescent there or not, but he does have an iron rod. He looks like Jesus, and he also has the sun behind him like that. Oh, that that looks like it's depicting a blood moon of some sort. Oh, that, I don't know, but. Um, you know, it looks like the same guy. This is supposed to be Zoroaster, not Jesus, but obviously uh, looks like the pictures of Jesus, too. Um, and this is the Bhagavad Gita. It says, uh, Krishna, his birth like an ordinary... He takes his birth like an ordinary living entity, although his body does not deteriorate like a mortal body. It still appears that Lord Krishna grows from childhood to boyhood and from boyhood to youth, but astonishingly enough, he never ages beyond youth. At the time of the Battle of Christra, he had many grandchildren at home, or in other words, he had sufficiently aged by material calculations. Still, he looked just like a young man, 20 or 25 years old. So. Um, now I wager, um, I'm also going to, um, have this appearance, um, f you know, as long as I'm here, um, because I got told who I was at age 30 and age 30 is significant because um, right here uh, stories about Buddha, Jesus, Zoroaster, Ezekiel, and Guru Nanak all say that their transformative insights took place around the age 30. So uh, unifying all religions. Okay. Um, now after I had this communication at age 30, I was able to um, have original proverbs like these, um, which I was not, um, I, I couldn't do, pull off something like this before having this communication, okay? Um, now, even birthmarks may indicate a connection with one's previous life. Every depiction of the, the Spear of Destiny puncturing him is in the same side in the same spot right where my birthmark is that's how can that be just a coincidence that I got told who I was at age 30 and Jesus and everybody else's ministry uh, Zoroaster Ezekiel Buddha everybody else's uh, transformative insights took place around age 30 also and then Zoroaster has this symbol up here with the um, a phase of the moon that doesn't exist. So it, what it's saying is a lunar eclipse where it turns red at the top and at the bottom is, is white there. Now, that is what it says in the Bible. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon in the blood, right? And then there was these lunar eclipses and uh, and and eclipses and stuff that um, marked what you know a lot of people pointed this out that this you know seemed to mark the end of the age and then so right here target eclipse 7 27 18 and look at I, I, I published a video titled hearing voices call the way ambulance or get down the sickness Jul June 20th, 2018. 
and this is was July 27 2018 that were this so this and my hearing voices coincided with this and also I was born uh, on a rabbit year rabbit year 1987 red and it was a red uh, rabbit year and here at April 14th 1987 and so that's the way the moon looked right at the top with a white crescent at the bottom also depictions of Mary show a, a crescent there at the bottom also all these flags are depicting that um, or, or a cross but you know, Japan's flag, it's a blood moon red. That's a, yeah, blood moon eclipse. And then these kings obviously owed that star of Bethlehem, which is what, the, what, it, what it is, star of Bethlehem, as their right to rule, their, you know, divine right to rule. Um, okay. So, so Easter makes sense. Uh, and it unifies all the religions and it would have to be somebody that unifies all religions if they're going to be to to rule all nations they have to you know it has to be someone that that says all all of the nations religions are correct like how, how would jesus be able to rule um the muslims uh, if if he's not agreeing with the Muslims, and how can Jesus rule the Hindus if he's not agreeing with Krishna? Um, all right. Now this is, um, this is supposed to be a reincarnation of Krishna when he was a white-skinned, two-armed person instead of blue skin with four arms, and it said um, at the time of his birth. India witnessed a full lunar eclipse. So at the time of his birth, not, not the same day, during the birth. So my birth was around right around 3 a.m. April uh, 14th. Okay. And, and, damn it, where is it? Okay. And this at April 14th, 1987, 219 Universal Time. So I think that's 3 a.m. Uh, where I was, I believe, or whatever the case may be. I, I, I don't even know if 3 a.m. is exactly when I was born or not, but it must have been while this was happening because because I got told uh, who I was, and, and I don't think it's a, just a coincidence that all these things seem to support that. I mean, I, I look just like it, uh, my birthmark fits, uh, you know, even subtle things like how the hair has a very slight curl. Like most people would have to curl their hair to have that kind of effect. That's, that's the way my hair is naturally. Okay. I, I look more like each depiction than each depiction looks like the other. Like that's true. This birthmark's true. My birth date's true. What I got um, told must also be true and I can prove that I'm not lying about it which, and I really do need um, the best lie detection services money can buy and I think a documentary should be made uh, about me taking that and the implications of it um, you know because the whole world seems to be in agreement that they care about it right that it mattered enough to them to put it on their flag in a lot of nations. And, um, you know, so definitely means something. I'm not crazy. Let me know what you think down below.